Ladies and gentlemen, it's night here and I'm done for the day. <laughs> but today has been one of the most uh, weirdest days, I would say. I, I don't know what's happening. Whenever I'm talking to somebody, some level of madness is going on. Some crazy stuff is going on somewhere. Some madness in some part of the world. I have absolutely no idea why that's happening. But I thought let's make this video and today I was uh, supposed to on 5th I was supposed to upload the video for 10th house which I had recorded with uh, Manas G whose video you saw yesterday but then I thought it's the eclipse lunar eclipse on 5th 6th June 2020 so let's speak a bit on this and this is a full moon uh, in the sign of Scorpio of course and this has been a crazy time last two days because whenever i am talking to somebody they are talking of the most unfortunate events which have been taking place in their lives okay so i won't take names or i won't describe things but it somehow it has been the last two days <laughs> and uh, even uh, in my life was nothing so terrible has happened but so many weird things, especially in matters of relationships, my God, human relationships. Of course, I never make videos where I create this kind of fear and that's not the agenda for this video also. But you just keep a hold of your relationship. So currently Venus is retrograde in the sky and I guess yesterday or day before yesterday, Venus has crossed the sun, which means it has gone behind the sun okay so things are not looking that great i have talked to many of my friends who are either married or they are about to get married and then or they are in a relationship and things are not very good in their life so and th these problems have happened around last two three days okay it's very surprising actually in fact yesterday alone three of my uh, contacts or friends or very good friends uh, one of them uh, he has told me that uh, things are not that great so actually what happens see when venus goes retrograde and you may be thinking uh, it's an eclipse video but why am i talking of this venus retrograde because this eclipse is happening around that time when venus has crossed the sun so what does venus represent venus represents our affection and our love for somebody which is of course not selfless it is uh, not selfish also it's libra like it is give and take so i give you something and uh, you give me something back <laughs> so that's what libra is and therefore these relationships which involve a give and take which is not selfless i, I don't mean to say selfish relationships or that you are exploiting somebody but even in general relationships, you know, they have been very challenging, I've seen for the last two, three days. So you will see this video on fifth morning and I'm making this on fourth. And I also saw this story of this elephant who was uh, brutally killed and I in Kerala, India, which is uh, supposedly the most uh, educated state. And the problem with these things is that uh, whenever we speak on these things, like I, I hardly waste time speaking on these, you know, political or sociological or you know, society related things because it's all garbage. Material world means garbage. <laughs> so if you make a post on, uh, suppose uh, like you make a post on this uh, issue of the elephant, then, then many people will think that uh, like many uh, people have felt that uh, why are you speaking against South India or South Indians? Well, I have stayed in South India in five years. Those, those were the best years of my life. How can I speak against? But uh, that post has nothing to do with South India or India or Kerala or uh, whichever religious majority is there in Kerala. It has nothing to do with all this. But I've seen this eclipse is getting onto everybody's nerves and uh, people are twisting and uh, turning the facts and they're they are doing nonsense basically all right and in fact somebody had sent me a video where uh, they they had said that uh, anyways leave it <laughs> so 
it's a short video i don't want to discuss much astrological combinations here but what i would say if you are running rahu ketu's mahadasha or antar dasha and if you are running mars related dashas which means either mars antar or mahadasha or your planet is conjunct mars or mars is your atmakarak right then or if you have too many planets in 6th house or 10th house then this eclipse is very important so what does lunar eclipses do uh, lunar eclipses bring things to completion basically okay so generally they say you know that amavasya new moon is very difficult but because kaliyuga is degrading so fast uh, everything has become negative actually you know in fact full moons have also become very dangerous these days because full moon means the the mind is like at the peak of you know it's uh, the feelings are at peak so people are reacting abruptly people are disrupting things you know in us also there are so many protests and people have been killed you know and that guy was also killed by the police unfortunately so whatever it is wh whoever you are either either you are elephant or you are a person staying in us whoever you are i mean uh, this eclipse has really taken toll on everybody and because it's in scorpio so people are behaving in ways which may not be very good cool, okay so whatever it is whichever part of the world you are this eclipse will affect you okay so therefore make sure that you stick to the focus stick to the purpose okay and do not get caught in the superficialities of you know which political party is ruling which state you know, or Uh, which religious majority is there in which state or what is the skin color of a person so because uh, whenever there is an uh, there is some injustice then uh, there's a proverb you know injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere so uh, today what has happened in uh, this uh, kerala the tomorrow that can happen in new delhi so then will you uh, blame new delhi for that no that that is not these things have nothing to do with uh, the state or you know, uh, or any any religion these things doesn't matter actually but the, that is the problem Pe people have become so narrow minded these days and especially during the current times that they are focusing on all the unnecessary things you know oh, which state this elephant died you know where is it south india north india east india is it west india tomorrow suppose uh, in in mumbai there is a killing so then you will say oh uh, west indians are bad mumbai people are bad so no it doesn't work like when you do all these things then <clears throat> you lose your focus okay so therefore uh, many people have told me that uh, they should uh, the government should bring strict laws for animal protection and all this and racism also all over the world which is very crucial and that is what should be our focus our focus should not be which state or you know which religion or which skin color and all this that should not be our focus because these are universal principles which will apply to time and race for everybody actually okay and if you do not focus on that and focus on all this you know superficial useless stuff then you will lose uh, you lose the game actually because then the issue will not be resolved and still the same abuse will keep happening okay so therefore i have spoken many 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 times about you know vegetarianism and all this so please uh, in fact yesterday i uh, i mean today i had uploaded the mars video which is yesterday maybe for you <laughs> so in that also i had said that one of the biggest remedies for mars is you uh, stop eating meat because uh, if you are taking part in violence then you cannot expect peace and that's what is happening and in this world you will see that uh, there is uh, nature has sent this calamity coronavirus no nobody uh, has any idea how to deal with this everybody is just taking indirect steps you know like lockdown is there in india now that's lifting gradually in germany it has uh, almost lifted uh, but who i mean if if tomorrow again corona comes uh, it, it blows off everything even now in us it's blowing off the numbers in india also it's increasing in thousands so then uh, what what will you do i mean again you will announce lockdown so that 
that shows how helpless human human beings are when nature decides to punish somebody mm -hmm. so that's very unfortunate that these things happen actually and at a personal level also i have felt you know like i have talked to many people and they have said that you know they have they are feeling like crying you know they are they are feeling very depressed they are getting suicidal thoughts and all this you know or especially if your eighth house dasha is running eighth lord or you know, planet is in the eighth in the bow chart okay disclaimer <laughs> then uh, it, it may create a lot of challenges for you okay but then what to do should we just be pessimistic and do nothing and keep crying and just die no that's not what we do that is not the injunction of the scripture so the best thing that you can do tomorrow is uh all for the next two three days actually you can always read the bhagavad gita okay please read it so let's read some uh random shloka from the bhagavad gita ah this is 6.37 for one whose mind is unbridled self-realization is difficult work <laughs> but he whose mind is controlled and who strives by appropriate means is assured of success that is my opinion so therefore what krishna is telling here one whose mind is not controlled see why all these things are appearing so bloated actually because our mind is not controlled actually that's what krishna says so if our mind is under control then we make the mind do what we want to do and if the mind is not under control then the mind makes us do what he wants to do he or she <laughs> so therefore we should understand that we will be happy only if the mind is under control because krishna says in the gita now that so that shloka no no krishna does not say arjuna says that mind is more difficult to control than the wind is okay vayoreva sudushkara yes tasyaham nigraham manye vayoreva sudushkara hmm that's look i have forgotten the first two lines <laughs> okay so uh, the thing is krishna says i can uh, arjuna says i can control the winds but i cannot control the mind so therefore we need to do spiritual practices you know we should uh, we should take our mala and uh, we should always chant you know we should take the mala and we should start chanting om namo bhagavate vasudevaya we can chant om namo narayanaya so for for this eclipse i guess because scorpio is involved please chant om namo narayanaya now if your life is normal everything is fine don't worry nobody is going to die okay this is not to create fear but suppose you are having a difficult time because of your dasha then please take your mala okay take uh, take this glue bead here okay this is long here okay this is where you start okay this this represents your guru actually okay and this bead holds every other bead so the most important thing is you maintain connection to your gurus okay your shiksha guru your diksha guru your pat padaste guru and then you keep a finger like this and then you start chanting om namo narayanaya because this is a ashtakshari mantra and this is specifically for the eighth house okay and along with these retrograde uh, crazy energies you know like especially when it comes to relationships and many people are telling you know suddenly they have lost their jobs you know within last two three days so therefore let this pass the next 48 hours and if you have any mental issue just chant this mantra om namo narayana okay and you can also read about the great ramanujacharya from shri vaishnav sampradaya again from south india right please learn about him because all glory is to him not him exactly but there's another person but he is the one who you know made this mantra very famous okay and uh, it is said that anybody who chants this mantra om namo narayanaya they will obtain the vaikuntha planets after the end of this life all right so if you are feeling too much anxious you are like oh, i just can't do it <laughs> then don't sit uh, just get up or you walk you run whatever you just do the mantra okay if you are even if you are in bus everybody is looking you just do it i really you should not but just do it forget about all this okay la the i mean uh, so many crazy things i have been seeing so i don't know what will come in the next 48 hours hopefully uh, nothing bad comes that is my prayer to god 
all right so thank you very much for your patience and uh, i am just about to sleep and therefore on a short notice i have made this video all right thank you very much and uh, if you have not watched the solar eclipse video then please watch it i will put it somewhere here there and uh, if you want a consultation from me then please go to the website down in the description section okay and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him